poetry for you. So please welcome uh, Jim Earl to the stage. Thank you so much. It is a great honor being here tonight on this stage in front of these fine people. I would like to uh, read this poem to you <laughs> entitled Office Depot Customer Feedback Letters. <laughs> Dear fuckhole, <laughs> if you so much as go near or even look at my son again, I'll hunt you down like an animal and cut off your balls. P.S. Thanks for helping me select the right workstation for my computer system. <laughs> You'd be surprised how many times I've been led astray by some unknowledgeable salesman who doesn't even know his third-party software from an IBM networking protocol. Now I can save my hypercard stacks as standalone applications and distribute them royalty-free. <laughs> Kudos to Office Depot. You really are my one-stop office store. <laughs> Signed, Ted. <laughs> Dear Monster, <laughs> last night my wife broke down in tears and told me you fondled her breast while threatening her with a club. <laughs> <laughs> Your kind makes me sick, preying on the weak and defenseless. May God have mercy on your wicked soul. Pray to your maker, you perverted beast. For the time will come when I wrap your intestines around your neck like a garden hose and piss on your face. <laughs> P.S. Thanks for steering my wife to the part of the store that really represents value pricing. <laughs> Having looked everywhere, and I mean everywhere, <laughs> for inexpensive bulk memo pads, she was just about at the end of her rope. <laughs> but with one look in the post-it notes bin, she knew Office Depot hadn't let her down. With prices like $18.99 for 10 pads of 10 50 sheets each, it's not hard to guess why this week is Memo Mania Week. <laughs> Sign, the man is going to kill you. <laughs> Dear sicko, <laughs> Having raised a family and been happily married for over 30 years now, I can with full con confidence state that your behavior is indicative of a dementia so foul, so disturbing, so bestial, that even the very demons of Hades would turn away in shame. Good God, man, have you no soul? At what point did the light of decency within you die, taking with it your last warm feelings for humanity? Soon this world will relieve itself from the wretched burden of putrefaction that is your life, and your last breath will be my rebirth. <laughs> However, <laughs> your suggestion that I use Southworth ivory bond paper for all my letterheads, deeds, and presentations was right on. <laughs> now I know what you meant when you said, Use a paper people will remember that looks and feels valuable, just like you. <coughs> Mucho thanks for going out of your way to help with my media needs. <laughs> Sign the Crimson Banner of Righteousness. <laughs> the last one. Dear Mr. Earl, put your guns down and come out of the store with your hands up. The pipe bomb exploded nowhere near your mother's vagina. <laughs> we know you're not a real terrorist. <laughs> P.S. Thanks for suggesting that colored envelopes. Signed, Sergeant McDulty. <laughs> well, that's, uh, that's it for my poem. Uh, Thinks, what the fuck is going on out there? <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, thanks for uh, suggesting this uh, freaking poetry bit, Mark. That was a really good idea. <laughs> Woo!
Jim Earl. Thank you, Jim. Thank you very much.